Okay, so let's drop back down into the Turbo Smooth here under the Bend modifier, and we'll uncheck Ice Line Display, set it to two iterations, and go back up to the Bend modifier, and now we'll convert this to Turbo Poly. Okay, and as you can see, this has a, uh, a, a super high amount of edges here that we don't really need on these sides. All right, so we'll do the same process here, just uh, take out what we don't need. So let's go back to Edge, we'll just grab one of these side edges here, and let's hit Z. Okay, and we'll just start maybe uh, selecting some of these edges here. Okay, we're gonna start in a little bit from the end here. Let's do maybe this guy. And we'll just go all the way across. Okay, and here's where we have that transition where it slopes back. So I'm gonna leave these three edges here. And we'll just skip those and keep going. Let's also turn on our back facing here. Okay, and we'll stop uh, right about there. Same thing over on this side. Let's grab these guys here. And just to be on the safe side here so we don't have any uh, shading errors, I'm just going to maybe deselect the center edge on each of these sections. Okay, so we'll hold down Alt and we'll just deselect one of these edges. Uh, same thing here and same thing over here. And later on we'll take those uh, edges out if we can, but uh, just to avoid any problems right now, we'll just uh, do a selection like this. Okay, so let's do a loop on that. Okay, now I'll go around the entire model. It won't select the inner edges here because that's a closed loop. Uh, we'll worry about taking those out afterwards. Okay, so with these selected, We'll just turn off our wire with F4 and hit Control Backspace one more time to remove those. Okay, and just check to make sure you have uh, everything smoothing correctly. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll go back into the end here. And we'll just take out most of the edges here on this uh, little tab piece. Okay, so I'm gonna start at about that edge there. And we'll just go across the center to about there. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll deselect the center edge. We'll keep that one for now. Okay, so another loop and control backspace it out. And we'll just drop the edges here and see if that looks okay. All right, everything looks pretty good there. So we'll just keep doing this over the entire uh, bar until we have it down to uh, a pretty low poly count here. All right, let's go up here. And we'll see if we can get rid of a few more of these. Okay, let's maybe take out these ones uh, running horizontally here. We don't really need to have this many edges. Okay, so let's maybe start at the top here. Okay, I'm gonna start on this edge and let's work our way down. Okay, and to avoid any problems uh, over here where this uh, piece comes up, I think I'll leave these two bottom edges here uh, just so we have a little bit more support around these corners. Okay, so we'll do a selection like that and let's do a loop on it. Okay, we'll turn off our edges and control backspace it out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Do the exact same thing down at the bottom. Uh, this time we'll leave the top two edges and we'll work our way down. Okay, to about there. Another loop and control backspace. Okay, and on the uh, strut pieces here, we don't really need to have these as well, so we'll take most of these edges out. Let's go into the front view. Okay, and let's switch this to the back view. And we'll just go over here. And we'll just select most of these edges going down this way. Um, same thing here, I'm going to leave these two at the top and we'll start from this point here and just select it all the way down to the same point at the bottom. Leave these two edges unselected. And we'll maybe just deselect a couple of the center edges here. So let's go down maybe four or five and deselect this edge holding Alt. And we'll go up four or five from the bottom and deselect that edge. Let's do a loop and take those edges out. We'll do the exact same thing on this one. Okay, so leave these top ones. Okay, grab those ones and we'll do the same selection here. So deselect the fifth edge and the fifth edge up from the bottom. Another loop and control backspace. All right, and in perspective, let's turn off our edges and just see if we uh, have everything looking correct. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's maybe go into the center here. Just gonna grab an edge and hit Z. And for this one, we'll pretty much take out most of these edges. Uh, we don't really need to have these in here. So let's grab them all on the top here. Uh, to about this point and let's maybe leave the center edge here as well. Okay, so I'm going to deselect that one, loop it around and control backspace them out. And we'll just check it out here and see if it looks okay. All right, everything seems to be holding up fine. Let's maybe see if we can take out some of these uh, vertical edges as well. So let's grab one on the tab here at the bottom. And uh, let's maybe take out just a few of these edges. Uh, I might leave this one here. So let's maybe grab that one, this one, 
Let's skip the center edge and we'll just grab these two. And let's maybe try this one as well as this one. We'll see if we can get away with that many. So those six edges selected, let's do another loop, turn off our edges and control backspace. And that looks fine on that tab. So we'll do the same selection on the other uh, three tabs here. So let's grab an edge, hit Z, grab these three edges, skip the center one, grab those three and loop and control backspace. Okay, same thing at the other end here. And at the last one here at the bottom. Okay. Everything seems to be holding up well. So uh, let's see if we can take out some of these edges here as well. Um, we don't want to take too many of these out, but we'll try to get rid of a few of them. All right, so let's go back into the uh, back view here. And let's see, let's zoom in on the bottom left corner. Let's do this in perspective maybe. All right, let's come in a few from the end here. Let's grab maybe this one. And we'll just work our way over grabbing every second edge again. Okay, to about here. All right, let's maybe go back into the uh, front or the back view here. And we'll skip these edges around these corners again. And just maybe come over into the center here. Let's grab this one, maybe this one. So we leave the center edge here as well, and we'll grab these two, and we'll just skip those edges and keep working our way up. Let's get uh, this one here, and we'll just go uh, to the other end here, selecting every second edge. Okay, and same thing on this part. We'll take this one out. We'll leave these couple here. Uh, let's grab this one, and this one, this one, and this one. Skip these ones, and we'll just grab every second one over here as well. Okay, I'm just gonna check this out in perspective to see where we're at. Okay, let's go over and maybe get uh, one more here. Okay, and we'll loop those. Okay, and we'll see if we can take these out before we do the same selection on the top. Okay, so let's hit Control Backspace, and we'll just check it out here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll do the same selection up at the top. Okay, so back into the back view. And we'll just see uh, if we can kind of uh, judge which edges we took out. Okay, so I think we got this one here. Let's go, go across and select every second edge to about that point. Uh, skip these ones again. And we'll just keep working across the top. Okay, it looks like we took out that one and the same one on the other side. Okay, let's get this one as well. Another loop and control backspace. Okay, that looks good. Um, Let's maybe see if we can get away with taking out these center edges here. Um, let's grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, and we'll loop those. And we'll just turn off our edges here and hit F4. Okay, and just want to check to make sure that we didn't have any uh, weird shading uh, when those are gone. Okay, and you can see uh, right here, it looks a little soft on that edge. All right, so let's maybe do Control Z just to put those back in. And you can see that's a little bit more sharp now, so we don't want to take out that center edge on uh, this piece here. Okay, we'll see if we can do these other three maybe instead. So in our loop, Control Backspace, and we'll see if that gives us any problems. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, we still have quite a few edges uh, on any of the all the corners here, so we'll see maybe if we can get away get rid of a few of these. I don't want to take out too many. Um, 
Let's maybe see if we can get rid of a couple of these as well. Let's take out maybe these two here. Loop those. Go backspace them out and see if it looks okay. Okay, so let's take those uh, same two edge loops out on the top and bottom here. Okay, and it looks like we only have the one down here, so we'll just loop that one and take it out. Same thing at the other end. Okay, and this one down at the bottom here. Okay, we could probably take out uh, a few more around the edges here, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I think I'll leave most of these other ones uh, so we don't run into any problems. Uh, we still cut the uh, poly count down quite significantly, so uh, I think that should be fine for the automation, optimization of the bar. Okay, so let's maybe unhide all. And we're almost there. Let's maybe do one of the clips here. Okay, so I'm going to grab that top uh, right one there. We'll hide everything else. And same, same process here. We'll turn off ice line display, set it to 2, and convert it to variable poly. Okay, and this should be pretty quick for us to uh, clean up. So let's go on to the top here. We'll hit Z with an edge select it. And we can pretty much get away with taking out mostly all of these edges here. Okay, so let's grab those. We'll do a loop on it. Okay. And we'll do the exact same selection on the bottom here. Make sure you have ignored back facing on when you do this. Okay, right up to about there. Another loop. And we'll control backspace those out. Okay, and the same thing going uh, this way on the tabs. Let's get rid of most of these edges here. Okay, just like that. Loop those. Control backspace them out. And same ones on this side. Okay, we can also probably get rid of most of these uh, horizontal edges. Uh, let's maybe grab these ones here. We'll skip maybe the center one for now and get these three. Loop those. Take those out. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll maybe take out uh, one of these ones up on the top here. Let's see. Let's maybe see if we can get away with uh, this one and this one. So we'll loop those. And take those out. Okay, you can see it's a little softer in the corner, so I'm actually going to undo that with Control Z. We'll leave those edges in. Okay, and on the tab pieces here, because they're straight, we can take out most of these vertical ones as well. So let's maybe start right here, and we'll just take these out. Okay, right to about the corner, and then we'll skip a couple of edges and take these ones out down here. Okay, right up to about there, loop, take them out, same thing on this side, skip these ones again, and we'll loop these ones and control backspace them out. Okay, everything's looking pretty good here. Let's maybe just get rid of a few additional ones that we don't really need. Um, on the back here, we could probably get rid of a few of these. It's pretty much flat, so let's take out a couple here. Let's leave maybe that center edge again. And we'll see if we can uh, loop these and take them out without a problem. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, same thing on the sides. Let's maybe take a few of these out. I don't want to affect the curve too much, so we'll just do a couple. Uh, maybe three on each side of the center mark. Another loop and control backspace. <clears throat> okay, same thing over here. Oops. Okay, and a couple in here we could probably get rid of. Let's do these ones here. And the same on this side.
Okay, I'm not going to really worry about uh, taking out a whole bunch of these other ones here. Um, let's maybe take this one as well as the center one out. Probably don't need those. And same ones over here. This one and the center one. Okay, and I think I'll just leave the rest. Um, there's no point of really pushing our luck on this. Okay, so let's maybe uh, turn off edge here. We'll unhide all. Okay, and now that we have that done, we can actually replace the other uh, three with the optimized one here. Okay, so I'm just going to name this. Uh, we'll just call it bracket 01 uh, so we can tell them apart. Go back into the front view here. Okay, and the pivot point should still be centered. All right, so we'll just do another mirror on this piece. Okay, so let's open up mirror. Let's set it to X and copy and OK. And then we'll uh, select the one over there that's not optimized, which is object 01, and delete that one out. Okay, and then we'll grab our two optimized clips here at the top and just shift bring them down uh, to the second set. Okay, as a copy. And just zoom in a little bit there and just try to line up with what we had. Okay, just like that. So we'll right click and hide select it and then we can select those two original pieces and just delete those out. Okay, let's unhide all. And I think that's pretty much all the optimization we need to do. Uh, like I said, we could probably have taken out uh, quite a few more edges, but uh, I think that's probably good enough for the tutorial. And you can play with that a little bit more if you want to go in and try to remove some of the corner edges and see how you uh, how it looks afterwards. Um, but I think that's good for now. So uh, we'll leave it like this and we'll move on to uh, UVing it in the next part. Uh, let's just check the poly count on now that we have it uh, optimized. So down to properties, summary information. And it looks like we got to about 31,000, uh, which isn't bad. We could have probably removed another 10,000 or so, but uh, that's not bad considering what we started with. All right, so we'll close that up and we'll just check out the model here and make sure everything's okay. All right, and we might actually be able to optimize these bottom clips here. Um, let's grab one here and we'll hide everything else. Just gonna ungroup it for a second. And we'll just uh, hide those bolts. And let's see what this one looks like. So I'm just going to turn off Iceland Display. Okay, and let's maybe optimize this one quickly as well. This is a lot of faces that we don't need. Okay, so same process here. Let's convert to table poly. And let's get rid of uh, similar edge selections uh, that we did on the upper brackets. Okay, so most of the side ones. Whoops. Okay, we'll just grab these side edges here. Okay, do a loop on those. Take them out, same ones on the other side. Get rid of those guys. And on each end here, we can do the same thing. Okay, so pretty much the exact same process as we did before. And I'll just do this as quick as possible here. Okay, most of these ones can go as well. So we'll leave those middle ones here where the corners. Let's get rid of that one maybe. And we'll just skip those four and keep working our way down to about there. Okay, loop. Get rid of them. Check it out. Same thing on this side. Just work our way down to the bottom here. And let's also get rid of that one. Do a loop and control backspace. And same process here, side to side. Let's get rid of these ones, skip that middle one. And we'll just leave those, take those out. And we could get rid of a few here as well. All right, so let's uh, leave these ones in the corner here alone. Just take out some of these center ones. Maybe those four. Same thing on this side. And on the side here, we could do the same thing. So we'll grab a couple of these. Maybe those six, take those out. And same thing over here. And the same thing on the bottom. OK, 
Okay, and let's uh, maybe zoom in on this a little closer. Let's see if we can get rid of these two as well. I don't know if they're doing us much good. So let's loop those four edges and take those out. And we possibly could remove these ones here on each end. Uh, let's just do a loop on those and we'll see what that looks like with it gone. Okay, and you can see that doesn't look very good at all, so we're going to undo that with Control z Okay, we'll leave those guys intact. Okay, and I think we'll just leave the rest uh, to avoid any other problems. Okay, so now that we have that uh, optimized, uh, let's unhide all. Just going to grab the other bolt there and the one on the back, and we'll regroup it. Okay, so let's do a group on that. Let's call it uh, maybe bottom of the bracket. And okay. And we'll just mirror this over uh, to replace the other one. Okay, so let's uh, go back into the hierarchy tab, effect fluid only, centered object, and then we'll right click the move tool, zero at the x axis, and we'll throw out the button here. And we'll just do another mirror. Okay, so X and a copy and okay. Hide that one and remove the original. So I'll delete that out. Okay, so now that we have uh, those bottom clips both optimized. Okay, so we'll finally just uh, maybe check the poly count here and see what we ended up with. And let's take around uh, 19 and a half there. So that's pretty good. That's what we were aiming for. And we've cut it down by almost 200,000 polys, which is uh, great, which will make it a lot easier for us to work with in the UV uh, section, which we'll do next.